Welcome to Run It The Podcast, you guys. It's time to tie you in to yeah. Run It The Podcast. Late night show. This is your first late night show. For now, we're going to be running the podcast. Late night Hello, welcome back, you guys. You are now tuning in to Run It The Podcast. Late, late night, night show. show. <laughs> I am your host, Slay Bunny. Jatori. G-Thang, babe. And today, you guys, we got a lot um, on um, the topics today. Uh, for starters, we're going to talk about... Um, we have our word of the day today. Our word of the day. So we're going to start out with our word of the day. We want to bring in something every day and bring in a word of the day every day because we're working on... Mm-hmm. Um, see. So we want to be able to step out more and be able to teach ourselves and our children how to become better readers and things like that. So right. um, claptrap is the word of the day. Okay. Absurd or non-sensual talk or ideas. The orig- origin of the word in century English is a noun and for a census it's something stupid or foolish mm-hmm. even if it may seem important. So that's our word of the day is claptrap. Right. Thank you. And so, um, next we want to talk about, um, we want to go and get the sponsors out the way. We're going to yeah. get the sponsors out the way. We have Headquarters. Sir, 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 Sir,
make a long story short, the guy, basically, he was on cheeto mode. He's trying to avoid the situation, you guys. He's trying to, you know, get his thing so he can get out right. of the home. And and I guess evidently, you can tell she must didn't want him to go. But she you know how, yeah. you, you know how some women, I feel, I, and looking at the video, I truly feel as if her mother being there, you know how some women don't want to seem... You know, weak, weak in front of their yeah, mom. Weak. Instead yeah. of just, you know, saying, baby, please don't go. Basically, the woman must have got upset by the time the man gets ready to leave out of the home. He gets his stuff. He's calling his uncle like he's going to leave, you know, to avoid the situation. And she ends up shooting this guy in the back of the oh head. Oh, my gosh. And so now he's, the kids has not a father and the mother will, you know. So the kids going, there? The kids was there. Oh, you wow. actually, as she shoots this guy, you actually hear her in the background. Ah! You know, she screams like, I'm going to jail. That was the first thing that she screams. And it's like, not I kill, I made a mistake or I shot. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, no, she oh my God, she worried about going to jail. And you hear her mom screaming, it's girl, so it was sad. a mess. And um, that's so she incriminated so, herself yeah. online. Yes, oh yes, okay. but they got out of it. And then you hear her, I guess, attacking him as he saying, you know, um, we put your hands on me again, yeah. keep your hands off of me, and, you know. But it's just sad because I truly feel like a lot of relationships ends up being broken because it's. They, I feel like it should have been something that they should have handled behind closed doors. Right. The and mother so, shouldn't have been there like instigating. You it's know been what I'm saying? A lot of that on Facebook. And then, lately. and ladies, this is one thing I want to say because. A lot of times y'all do, every relationship goes through something. So a lot of times, you know, y'all get on the internet and y'all try to blast your husband out. Because they said something about she blasted the guy out and said that she he was bisexual or something. So, you know, you got to be careful before you just jump out there and do something. Because once you do something, then if that back. person paid it, they going to do something. And it's like, it's get out of hand. You get what I'm saying? Right. Right. And I feel like, you know, it could have been avoided. You know, that's a sad situation. The kids lost their father and their mother. And they lost everything on live, so. What? On live? You know, they would never be able to live that up. You know, yeah, you hear the kids talk about it. Yeah. They can't go to school because people are like, I don't touch the Right. Right. So you know, they're going to have to go situation. through therapy and all of this other stuff. And they're going to have to change schools and stuff like that. You know, and a it's lot just of times, crazy you know, you don't think about the long term effect of stuff when you do stuff like that. I feel like you can see in that video, like, she could, you could tell she didn't want her husband to leave. And instead of you just, you know, acting out, I would have said it, that's my, it, it ain't like, you know, you talking to a boyfriend or something, you like, baby, don't leave. You know, if that's right. your husband, tell your husband, baby, don't leave. Whatever I got to do to make this right, I will. Forget what mama talking about in the background. Because you have to deal with that. That's your family. And that's right. how I feel about it. Alright. Well, I did make my CMOS mm -hmm. shake. Um, I did. I got the shake from Rosa Sharon. I'm going to be sharing her stuff on my page. She, she made my CMOS shake. for me this time. Um, because my stuff came a little late. I make my own, but it came a little late. So, this is what it looked like. Yeah. This is the shake. The smoothie. And it has, I, 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 I have green apples in it. I have an avocado. I have frozen, frozen berry mix. Let me tell my frozen. Frozen, <laughs> frozen <laughs> berry mix and protein powder. So I got all of that up in there. And it's good. It's good to me and it's good to her. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> I know why you said this. I know why you said this. <laughs> but y'all welcome to have some. I share. You know what I'm saying? You see how smooth it come out. It's a smoothie. And it's a Seamoss smoothie. Hey, Ariel. And yeah, baby, you want you want a little bit more before I take it down? Uh, you can take it on down, sister. <laughs> but it is um, good. I, I love it. I really do. Y'all yeah, know how I do. The people, y'all know how. And I the do. fact that it got the sea moss in there. It got the sea moss in it. <laughs> you know, ain't nothing wrong with taking a little bit of. It's sea healthy moss. for you. Shout out to Dr. Savage. It's good for your skin. It's good yeah. for bronchitis. It's good for everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. Ain't nothing so, wrong with taking in a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. Drink a little bit. Take it to the head. So you, you uh, sip over there, I'm gonna sip over him. So in other words, you guys, we got another hot topic <laughs> that we would like to talk about. <laughs> Everybody um felt the need that they wanna kinda discuss about the Kevin Gates and the um Trans. Before I get started. Hey. 
I represent the gays. I do love my gays, I'm gonna say. My gay, I ain't gonna say gay as in G-A-Y, G-E-Y, cause we not gonna be disrespectful over here. Right. We don't discriminate. Um, so I do mess with my gays. And um, we got a couple people who wanna discuss the topic about, I guess, Kevin Gates being um, hey, exposed, allegedly, let's say allegedly. Allegedly exposed. exposed. From the what, what you guys said, it was a. Tr uh, you can't say I don't feel the need to say tranny because I think that's disrespectful. Um, but he was a what transsexual or something like that, maybe. I don't. Uh, Y'all have to like see. So what? Okay. The topic. So. I don't feel comfortable. Just what, what's the name? What's too. the name? Because we're not gonna be disrespectful because they what's, take that person. What's her name? Yeah, what's the, I said, what's the name, yeah. Oh, I don't know her name like it, but, um. Well, I don't. She, she a blogger. Oh, it's a blogger? Yes, I think she's like, like, um, uh, one of those Instagram models. Okay. So she hit him up on Instagram. And what he did, a respond? He responded, and he met with him. Mm -hmm. And so, one thing led to another, and she said Kevin allegedly did stuff that he knew what she was and what she was representing so mm -hmm. you know so that's something that that that's been hot topic lately you know we i kind of seen it for myself earlier today i just i want to go deep in with that conversation if you want to go deep do you want to go deep with it we can go deep we can go deep well for starters i want to go deep with that conversation because for starters i just would like to know um for one the the girl is beautiful to me, she regardless, is she you know, is. if that's what somebody want to be and if somebody like that, that's them. But what I want to know is what what does somebody's sexuality and what they doing behind closed doors in their bedroom got to do with their talent? Well, I guess, you know, people be wanting to put out there when they deal with stuff like that. Are you, mm -hmm. are you dealing with somebody that's of standards as Kevin Gates and you right, be like, right. oh, it is what it is and this will happen with it. But for me, right. what goes behind closed doors, you know, mm -hmm. it, it stay there. But she wanted to talk about it and right. so she got her 15 minutes of fame, you call it. Uh -huh. So she got her 15 minutes of fame to me, but it didn't say her name. It just say allegedly right. accused of sleeping with a uh, transgender okay, you're model. It over on me. Yeah. Okay. So, so we're going to Put it closer to the camera. Play yeah. like a snippet of what she was yeah. talking about. Just a snippet. You know, she, well, she is. She looks she, good. You she, know what I'm saying? She, she's pretty. She you know, is pretty. Well, I'm going to say, you know, <laughs> I can't say too much about the topic because I dabbed in a little bit of kuda boota myself. So. Uh, Sat down, he had like four phones. He was saying like, "Oh, you know, I was like, okay." He was like, because you all love. He was on Instagram live, and it vibrated. I'm like, he shows me on live, and I'm like, uh, so he showed her on live. Show her what on live? He showed her on live. Oh, then he, oh, okay. Yeah, then he was chilling with her. Situations where I almost fall asleep. I like lunch with my, or like in trouble with my pizza. But I'm gonna share it on Facebook. Y'all can go check it out on there. You know what I'm saying? So she's talking about it and. She talking about it. Well, and another, life, so. another thing I want to say is, I like to know another but thing. They don't never put that. So. Why do people be so surprised too? Because if you don't know the industry, a lot of that goes on in the industry. So why be surprised? You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about it. If you know how the industry works, a lot of that goes on in the industry. So I wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. I ain't surprised. I, I just. I I'm listen, not old, I listen to some of gay stuff, like the old stuff. I don't know. Really it's not gonna stop me listening to his music. Right. I, I <laughs> give them double. Just I, I don't because they went all the way back to like still saying about the old singles from back in the day. I was like, this stuff, but well, it is what it is. Whether he was singing to whoever he was singing to, <laughs> now I'm still gonna listen to it. Right. Well, shout out to Gates <laughs> and shout out to uh, Miss Lady. I don't. I don't even know the name. So. It is what it is. Right. So, I also like going on a health journey. Like, um, I wanted to introduce like doing a fruit for the week. Like, you're gonna do a whole week of fruit, and this is to <coughs> clean out your system and to give your organs a break. Right. So, I have the top ten best fruits. Well, I have the top twelve best fruits mm -hmm. that you can eat, and then I also have the top ten for diabetes. 
So I'm going to do the, the, the top 12 healthiest fruits to eat is avocados, blueberries, apples. I say mostly the red apples, the green apples. A lot of people don't like because they're kind of, they kind of sour. But I mm -hmm. still like them anyway. And that's yeah. what I also put in the smoothie too, the green apples instead. So you have raspberries, you have bananas, blackberries, lemons, watermelons, dates, strawberries, cherries. Mm -hmm. and pineapples and they're natural vitamins minerals fiber antioxidants so for the diabetes you want to have different type of fruit you can't eat every fruit because you have certain stuff you know right. you have that certain things going on and you don't want to raise your sugar up so you want to have strawberries you want to have blueberries you want to have apples avocados red apples Avocados, cherries, pears, peaches, apri mm. apricots. I always say apricots, y'all, but apricots. Well, I, you know what I'm talking about. about. Yeah. Kiwis yeah. and citrus fruit. Yeah. But certain citrus fruit you can't have when you're taking certain medicines. So I think like um, medicines for like mm -hmm. a cholesterol, you can't, you wouldn't, it's not good to have grapefruit. So check with yeah, your like provider orange, before maybe. you try the the um the grapefruits. I love grapefruits anyway because I have grapefruits. I put for sugar everything. on mine. You put a little sugar. No, I put a little sugar. I cannot do sugar. I can't. Put some sugar on that grapefruit, baby. And, and, I, and I also love like um the the grapefruit juice. Yeah, the grapefruit juice. Yeah, yeah. 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 A lot of people mm -hmm. can't use coconut oil. Some people can. So I be right here smelling like an almond joy. So if you buy right. me and I'm smelling like a like an almond joy, I'm trying right. to bite me. You know, let me know. Right. <laughs> the you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Right. So I be right here smelling like coconut oil around here. You know what I'm saying? All right. Just shining and glistening and all delicious nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Girl, you silly girl. I'm not gonna play with you on this thing here. Yeah. Okay, so um, um, we're gonna talk. You got something else you want to discuss? No, no, not right now. I'm good. Oh, okay, baby. Okay, so we um, we're gonna also discuss a little bit more. I want to discuss a little, little bit more about the uh stuff that happened in Rolling Fork because I didn't get to see much, but I did see a video where it like it did major damage and um, I don't know. What's your intake on it? Like, well. The video I seen, what video I seen, did you see? Well, I seen seen the little video, in, you know, like in the in the back part, mm -hmm. those like reels that they put that they showed rolling fork, mm -hmm. but they just had the prayer hands with it. So I did get to see some of the damage, but I had coworkers affected mm -hmm. uh, from a lot of like a lot of my coworkers were from rolling, rolling fork. fork. Oh wow! So they had a lot that happened. So my condolences goes out to them if they lost somebody, right? Or if they lost everything, because pretty much everybody looked like they lost everything, right? And I can say that everyone came aboard, and then they said that Biden did take action quick. So hopefully that okay, was the I case. Didn't, didn't hear I heard them like they was on live talking about it. All mm -hmm. all the like. Benny Thompson was there, Tate Reeves, all of them. Right, but, they, right. but Biden okay. did say he was gonna help. Okay. So I did. He did cut that check okay. right away. You know, one of my residents told me most of the stuff anyway. So most of my news come from him. <laughs> yeah, because so, I I just can't I just can't imagine you know you being in your home and then all of a sudden your rooftop or something blowing. Right. Girl, that is scary. And then like your kids and yeah, everything in there stuff everybody. falling everywhere. You know, Cars I just can't flipping. imagine it. So yeah, yeah we. So. Sorry for those who have lost their loved ones in this um, sad battle, this sad occasion, put it like that. Yeah, it's true. It's yeah. true. So, did you go into details about your book? Yeah. We're going to talk about the We have for a the book for the month, everybody. A book for the it's month. It's for the ladies, right? It's or for the ladies, it's for in general, okay. in, in anybody, but... Right. But we're talking to the sisters, mm -hmm. and the author is Paris Woods, and the book is... The Black Girl's Guide to Financial Freedom. Okay. So we want to talk about financial uh, financial literacy, and we want to be able to talk more about savings and and being like not being in debt and stuff like mm -hmm. that. You know, we moving forward. This is our year to be better financially stable, and this is the book right here. 
And I got my Amazon, but you can actually go to Paris Woods site. I think you can pull it up that way, but you can go through Amazon as well to get it because she'll still get her coins that way. Um, but this is the author, which is a sister. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we want to build beautiful, wealth, black retire hair, early, early, and live the life of your dreams. Right. So we got a Black Girl's Guide to Financial girl, Freedom. Imagine. This is our book for the month. Mm -hmm. so, All right, the book for the month. The book for the month. What's the name of it again? The Black Girl's Guide to Financial Freedom. Okay. Yep. So we're working on that as well. So we got a lot of things coming up we're working on. So that's the book of the month. So if you can get the book, next time we can sit here and talk about like the cool points, what you like about it, the mm -hmm. certain parts yeah, like of it, what you didn't understand. We need to have a discussion about understanding, but overall we want to work on financing and working on saving for you know good times hard times you know right. be able to emergency to situations set, right, most be definitely. able to set different you know your needs and your wants and you want to have your needs and wants different because we're going to work on setting up charts right. and stuff as well so we're going to do charts and things like that as well and then you know bank accounts and stuff and savings and things like that but you don't want to leave out stuff with the children because you want to have mm -hmm. money aside for the children as well because you know they're growing up they don't want to have struggles when they grow <laughs> right. up and they have to go out of school and then you know oh when i get older i don't have a car or something like that mm -hmm. you don't want to go crazy now sure okay so right now you guys this my girl, she done came here again with her vegan Whipping it up. Whipping it and up. Right, it smells delicioso. Do you hear me? Delicioso. What a vegan is. I don't understand. Everything. Guys. The pasta is whole wheat pasta. The meatballs is impossible meat. It's impossible meatballs. Uh-huh. And we got a fiesta mix in here. So everything is plant-based ready. Girl, this shit is gooder than a motherfucking wife. <laughs> For real, y'all gotta try this, bruh. This is the second dish. I'm, you gonna have to take me home with you so you can show me a little, girl. This is good for real, no lie. Y'all want some? Here. It's vegan spaghetti. Don't say it's nasty, y'all. Don't knock it till you try it. Hey, cousin, don't you get on here saying nothing. Hey, Kayla. Let me get something to the camera. My cousin's gonna be like, I'm about to want that meat and stuff. Don't there you go, cousin. Try it. Cause I'm gonna come to your house and cook for you. Girl. You would think how some of the people be doing their reaction videos, you would think it don't have taste. But it got taste in everything. It's like you can't tell really too much of a difference. So you ain't putting no fat juice in here. No, I ain't no fat juice. Well, I'm gonna get some fat juice here. from from well. Oh, they got to be fat to have fat juice. No fat juice. I ain't it's got too, no fat no too, well. It's too flavorful. That's because the seasoning. You gotta have some seasoning. Stuff can't be bland. Girl. Let me taste this meatball. Meatless meatball. It's impossible meat. What the hell is impossible meat? Plant-based meat. And it tastes good. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all can have some. Come on in and get some. Slide through. Call me. Text me and be like, girl, I'm coming through to get my plate. Hey, boo. You know I'll be there. My favorite delivery person. I got a good looking delivery person. Mm -hmm. My male lady. My um, male lady is beautiful. Yeah. Give us I ain't gay shout. male lady. I ain't gay Kale. <laughs> but you know you beautiful girl. Ain't no ain't, ain't nothing wrong with giving another woman some confidence. <laughs> and really, to be honest with you, our um our culture needs to start doing it. Ain't no wrong with yeah. another person. She knows she's beautiful. You welcome to gotta laugh. <laughs> laugh, girl. I'm going to have something nice for you soon when you roll through because I know I be working your nerves with all them packages. Them children be having packages you, you don't be knowing about. You be shopping a lot, girl. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. 
Yeah. They were like, Mom, my stuff can't have like stuff. What's the they be on that order too? Baby, I'd be like, look now, you gotta let me know some. I know I can't give my child a credit card, girl. She was spending all your money off of there and then turn around and ask you for something else and call you. Y'all can have some of these. I don't mind sharing. So I wanna get into these cards, y'all. I wanna get into these cards. Because you have to go deep and deep in conversation. Mm -hmm. So I'm ready. Our question of the day, but y'all can chime in. Y'all can always say what you want to say. You know, you can speak on here. You can always call in. We take calls to what's the sexiest thing about yourself? What's the sexiest thing about yourself? What, you, you, you know you look good. You know, tell me what's the sexiest thing about you. Girl, I'm going to say my, um, to me, I don't know. I'm going to say for me. Yeah, I don't for know. you. That's what I'm saying. You for yeah. yourself. It's, it's self love. It's my it's, it's my mentality. I feel like I had the mentality of a female, and then I have a mentality of a nigga too. So don't don't come playing them games with me, baby, because you ain't gonna get too far with it. It's my mentality. I, mean, I don't know. I ain't worried about the looks, cause the looks can fade. You feel me? Yeah. So it's the inside look, right? That you have for yourself. For me, right. For me, it's self love all the way around. Like I love myself. You know, some days you be looking like. I be looking like a ragamuffin sometimes. I'm <laughs> good, natural. <laughs> but I be, natural beauty. But I know I look good. I be in there like with my contacts. I decided to put my glasses on today, y'all. Mm -hmm. I decided to do that because I ain't going to be messing with my eyes. Contact me acting stupid. I be over here like I got good. something going bad. on. So I put in my, <laughs> my glasses. Don't feel bad. <laughs> so, I understand. So, yeah, she understands. <laughs> but that's why I put a little hand under my teeth. Girl, <laughs> well, I hope I don't. I just been smiling and laughing. Oh, oh well. But yeah, yeah. So that's the thing. Hey, Steve. That's my uncle right there, Uncle Steve. Girl, I don't even be seeing the motherfuckers online. These motherfuckers come on speak here and they give out. Speak to your people. Speak to your people. I speak, but at the end of the day, hey, 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 but, hey. Yep. Yeah, the sexiest thing about yourself. So for me, is my confidence. And um. What outfit do you feel sexier in? Because you love all your outfits. So yeah. I'm trying to see, do you don't have no chosen one? Yeah, I don't. Nope. I, I'm, I'm the type of person, um, I'm not, I'm not, what you call it? I'm um exotic. I try anything at least once. You know, because I be wanting to be different sometimes. And you? Well, my color is red and black. But mm -hmm. I mostly wear a lot of black. I love black. So mm -hmm. for me, Ain't no wrong with that. I look good in my uniform because that's what I be at most of the time <laughs> working. No so I look good in them scrubs as mm -hmm. a CNA. So if you see me coming outside of work, honk your horn. <laughs> right. <laughs> honk your horn. Scrub game. Who don't look a pair of scrubs? Yeah, you can look sexy for Yeah, because people, that's what they get the most attention. Yeah, police uniform. Yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't you love a person in uniform? Yes. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. What are the, what are you grateful for in life? The most grateful thing are you grateful for in life? Well, I'm grateful for still living. I'm grateful for my baby girl because uh, my baby plays a lot into helping me keep going, you know. Um, I'm grateful for being, I mean, financially stable. Or I, I really ain't, I can't complain, put it like that. Right. I'm grateful for a lot of things because I need more blessings. You got, you got to be grateful for the little ones before you can be grateful for the big ones. Blessings on top of blessings. Right, so I'm grateful for everything right now. Yep, me too. I'm grateful to still have my mom and my dad. And my, my sister's my me. second mom. And I'm grateful to have my children as well. So I got all my children, even though they be working my nerves and calling me. Mama, I ain't gonna do this, do that. I was like, look, come on now. Give me a break for a few seconds. Let me reset myself. <laughs> yeah, they, they worry sometimes. But you love your baby. But you, you love them. Wouldn't be able to live without them. You can't sit, you can't help but to sit there, you know, be like, I created that. So put them blue mm -hmm. and them pink hearts up there for the children, y'all. Right. Blue and pink hearts. Yeah. Give me them blue and man. pink hearts for the boys you and the girls. Created them.
Running the podcast.